D62. Not realizing how close he is to run into anti-tank. Oh, hello. ATGM smacks into the side. Tandem round from the Carl Gustav hits him as well. Oh my goodness. And the law finishes him off. The one, two, three. ATGM tandem and law. What a wonderful play by American anti-tank. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky, where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down, and in this one we have the US up against the insurgents on the hills of Kohat. This is Kohat Invasion V2, and it's one of my favorite layers to play as the Americans since you get two Bradleys for support. Now, the insurgents do get a bunch of rocket techies and a T-62, but honestly, with all the crazy hills and terrain, infantry movement plus the Bradley support is my go-to. Now, that doesn't mean it's easy, and as you can see by the length of this video, we have an insanely intense invasion round here. This is not a 10-minute stomp. Both the defenders and the attackers made some amazing plays, and you guys will absolutely love every minute of this. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with a map, game mode, or faction you'd like to see in the next one. And don't forget to check out the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moidog, where I stream every weekday. But that's it for me. Until next time, peace. Eye in the sky, and this is Kohat, Kohat Invasion V2, and we are going to be on board with the U.S., pushing out and trying to take Kohat from the insurgents. Uh, insurgents are defending Co Kohat uh, northwest. It looks like more north, starting from the northwest, um, and then actually everything north above the river here. Uh, invasion V2. First point will be Sunni Kel, then Shakar Khat, Ali Abad, and then Kadizai Radio Tower. Very uh, standard layout for Kohat Invasion here. Uh, for the U.S., we have a couple lodges, a transport, a helicopter, so they'll, ha they'll have their Black Hawk in uh, about two minutes. Uh, a few Mat Vs with the 50 cals. I don't think they have any Crows Mat Vs, the remote weapon system Mat Vs. All open top, and then two Bradleys. So uh, actually really, uh, I, I love the supporting Bradley uh, crews on this one if they have infantry. Uh, popping over the hills, a lot of fun. For insurgents, they have an SVG techie, a few UB-32 rocket techies. Uh, so they actually have rockets on the back of the pickup trucks here. Oops, here we go. Uh, one T-62, and then a BMP-1, as well as a few transports and whatnot. T-62 should be rolling out uh, in probably about 10 or 15 minutes. So should be a good game. This, it, if uh, the U.S. knows what they're doing, then they should all just full send here. But you always got to be careful because insurgents, you can see right as we move left to right here, the hills behind us, insurgents love to just peek behind, especially if you got some RPGs. You, you, you want to blow up a Lodgy. It's good. Okay, never mind. We're not. Is this? Am I wrong? That's not at all where the point is. Did they? I don't understand what's going on. I think the U.S. is overthinking this. The entire team is going to set up here? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand anything that's happening right now. So... Lodgy, now by himself, trying to actually play the points. Just barely missing out on a rocket strike. And then RPK, it sounds like, getting shot. You got dismounts coming in. RPG off to our left. Enemy infantry into the trees to our right. The Lodgy, dude, he doesn't care. Tandem round just misses. It's the Lodgy that just won't quit. Nobody wants to dismount and try to defend themselves. Now they start to dismount. Stuck in the valley here and somehow they keep it alive but pan man just north up the river oh he might get a perfect shot rpg into the side of the mat v and it is on fire government needs to dismount my sock is wet a very apt name because he is currently in the middle of a little reek uh, reek creek riverbed I can't see shit. I oh there you go tandem finishes it off and the Americans are off to a horrible start, completely split up. And pardon the quick camera movement. 
because we have an absolutely chaotic ambush happening right before our eyes. Lodgy is running right. Well, one Lodgy is dead. That was actually a transport. You have an armored Dishka techie right behind him. Almost killed an entire American squad as well. One gunner dead, second driver down, and thankfully there was one Matt V providing cover, but hold on a second. Matt V redirects and notices that there's a pickup truck. We got a 50 cal in the back of that pickup truck. He's coming to try to save the day for his uh, other insurgent techie that got rocked. He's reloading! And I have no... This is like the most chaotic... Kohat invasion I've seen as American knocks out one of the gunners here. Of uh, course, it got knocked out by Jihad, actually, uh, Jihad, Jihad, Jihad over here. So great, uh, yeah, great <laughs> target acquisition here. Um, okay, so where do we stand? Where do we stand? Uh, the objective is here. Just so you, just so you guys know, we're going to turn this on. Um, so you guys can see, I mean, I'm like confusing myself. This is the objective here. I want you guys to take a look for a second. Look to your left, look to your right. Try to find where all the Americans are because, uh, they're not anywhere close. Half the team is down South. I, I don't know what they're doing there. Trying to just make an objective happen. The rest of the team though has thankfully kind of started to reset. They've built a fob. I think only one squad. Oh, they don't have a hab down. Am I making something up? There's no hab. Oh no. 1300 build. There's no hab actually on this position. Americans are stuck up on the hills without habs and the rocket barrage is coming in. As you can see, them now start to lay into the hills right below us. Beautiful. I, I mean, it looks cinematic. It looks beautiful. It looks amazing. Hab is finally down. They got it dug up. So j under the barrage of rocket fire, RPG flies way up high. We're going to turn this on so you guys can see. This actually should be really easy position for the U.S. to take. They just need infantry to push in. You got Bradley's. You got still potatoes. Now a very still potato as he gets obliterated by that uh, Bradley. RPG just flies a little short and trying to figure out if this uh, helicopter, I think he did drop supplies. He did. It's actually right below us, I think. Yep, here he is. RPG again, a little too high. So this is actually a fantastic position for the US. Blackhawk can safely resupply. He doesn't have to worry about getting shot as he hovers, drops ammo, drops supply. Bradley is able to keep the high ground onto that repair station and then fire in and you should be able to push down into the point. Um, not that a lot of that's not actually happening right now. <laughs> it's not happening. I, I okay. Um, And there you go, ATGM from the Bradley slams into the side and just absolutely destroys the rock. Um, tried to ATGM the motorbike. Uh, American taxpayers are not going to be happy about that shot selection here. And Elephant Jesus surviving one ATGM. And we are at 178 tickets. So despite this being one of the slowest invasions ever and multiple vehicles being lost on the south side, thankfully there aren't too many tickets being lost by the US. Elephant Jesus is actually causing a lot of problems for this infantry here. Uh, but you are getting some uh, infantry now starting to put some fire onto the... Uh, whoa, RPG flies right over us. Cheat clappers. 
probably gonna dial in a Bradley here. Uh, but honestly, I, I have not seen a position. Ow, oh, they're out of build. Insurgents, if they were able to get a... Uh, if they were able to get a SPG, they'd be able to really be hurt in the Bradley position, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Um, ATGM looking straight through the smoke. Not quite sure what he's doing here. There's not even really vehicles for them to work with. So this is going to be a really big grind. When you get into this position, what tends to happen is that, it, uh, as I say, people want to stay up here. Bradley's going in. Bradley says, screw it. He needs to, sometimes, especially as vehicle players, if you see your infantry being scared, it's not a bad idea to just start freaking rolling in. You be the one to initiate the push and you'll see what happens. And I'm actually surprised the rocket techies haven't uh, kept opening fire here because this hill is the perfect position if you're a rocket techie. And we see the insurgent hab. I mean, I, I'm just surprised. <laughs> That's so, I mean, they're just being kept up here. And wow, RPG actually smacked in the side of the Bradley. Great shot, just kind of looped up the tandem round. And Bradley, okay, this might be a little too aggressive. If he's tracked in the field here, he doesn't have any infantry support. And honestly, if you just had a couple mortars, infantry on the point, you could easily take this. Matt V now pushing in and he actually takes uh, an RPG. You can see him smoking right into the side and it looks like he's going to get another RPG unless he can move quickly. Gunner dismounts running off to the safety of the fields across the berm. And this is just how difficult it is to see. I mean, without the outlines, without the uh, nameplates, it doesn't look like anybody's here, but the, you know, half of the insurgent team just floating around this position. But here it is. We finally have, this is a fantastic push. Those, Amer those, those Southern Americans finally decided to move out from, I don't even know where they were, way down south. Squad 5 able to save their uh, remaining launch and get a fob up. And is this an IED bike? I am not quite sure what is going on here. Trying to dodge some rifle fire. <laughs> I'm actually not seeing any IEDs. As one goes down, <laughs> trying to bob and weave. And another one gets sucked into the abyss. Aliens deciding to try to beam them up. Not quite sure the idea on that one. BMX bike turns deadly. And more infantry just continue to push up. And here you go. We actually had government. I mean, he died right outside, but this is some really, really good movement by the U.S. now. Finally starting to push in. James P. Fondelsberg. <laughs> Eric. Corsix Pan Man. Uh, all of them buttoned up in that uh, insurgent hab. And 50 cal deciding to shoot into the carcass of a transport. As more rockets. Oh, they're just a little short. Oh, never mind. They just killed the entire squad. One stray rocket gets just the elevation needed. And half that squad goes down to the UB-32. IEDs blasting all over the point. What just blew up behind us? Some IEDs. Not sure if it did anything. But they're saying we got... Oh, hold on a second. Pardon the quick camera movement. IBN Wobbler. 
He's aggroed the entire team. All squads push in. We need smoke order seven. And there it goes. Aggro the entire team. Try to get the radio down and oh, hold on a second. I'm not sure he was a sapper. I'm not sure if he got C4 on it. All squads push up, use smoke. It's covered. Needs to be careful. And now you have UB-32 pushing the rockets out. I mean, this is great barrage on the side of the hill, but the Americans are not going on the side of the hill. They're going from the south side, spilling over the push. And here you go. Just infantry swarming the objective, and that should definitely be capping it right now. And they are just started to cap. UB-32 just a little off, a little too north now. Insurgent infantry going to be yelling at him saying, I hate, I just, we're so close. On the point now. UB-32 on the point would wipe so much Americans. And Hab is down. Radio is being dug. And it, they took the scenic route, but the Americans look to have finally, hold on a second, where is that? Engaging BMP. No way. BMP gets one tapped. The little ATGM swap to the main gun and BMP goes to push up on the hill to try to take out the Bradleys that are, uh, I guess, covering from that high ground that we've been seeing since the beginning of the round. BMP easily dealt with and that's going to give a lot of momentum for the US, UB-32s, not, not too bad. They're actually on target right now. As I say that, this one is not on target, just a little too north, but 140 tickets to 528. And I mean, that was a 20 minute scenic route for some reason going way down south, pushing up north. But they're going to be sitting pretty, the U.S., at 240 tickets here soon. And then it is exactly what you need to get through Kohat Invasion. Good push. Really good push. I'm not going to lie. I was very, very nervous for the Americans starting out. And Vinker, the marksman... I was going to say he was being very sneaky and he just signed his own death warrant. <laughs> Easy done. Marksman makes himself known and that should be just about it. So we're going to take off these radii so you can see the, the map a little bit clearer. Uh, there is actually no red. No active enemy infantry near the Sunni Kel to Maine. Uh, so you have Elf and Jesus still up here. Mr. Lotus deciding to, I don't know, try to hit a, a thousand meter lat shot or something. Uh, so very, very good uh, push in the end by the U.S. And well cleared out. Um, I would be a little bit nervous about... There is a fob down here. Looks like Redeemer is actually digging that down to save tickets. Really, really good idea. Insurgents, on the other hand, have set up on Shakar Tot already. Shakar Tot. Shakar Kot already, which is the next point. And with that fob, I'm hoping that we can get another good defensive play here. So far, I mean, I'm liking it. We got two teams that showed up to play squad. Neither one just rolling over. And we're going to try. If my logic, can, um, can I get a ride back to main? Take the other one, please. Here you go. T62 is finally on the field. And not the uh, the best of vehicles, okay. but honestly, when it's against just a Bradley and not an uh, Abrams um, or Challenger or anything like that, then it's actually in a pretty good okay, spot. The, the main issue, if you're going to be this T-62 crew, is that you still have a pretty good 
chance of being uh, ammo racked by these ATGMs. So you need to be very careful. Uh, T62 should be 100%. Uh, someone called it here, which is incorrect. Might have heard the uh, the coax mark in here, but that is completely not a good call. And actually, calling an incorrect uh, tank call is one of the like the number one killers of uh, vehicles in squad. So uh, with that incorrect call, the Bradleys might reposition and then get themselves in a position that uh, the T62 can easily snipe at, or even get RPG'd or SPG'd. So uh, really dangerous for. A not confirmed, uh, not confirmed tank call. Kind of a YOLO call on this one. But enemy infantry pushing over and across. This is, they still got, I mean, Coat is a huge map, right? One of the largest maps in squad. And you have so many hills and valleys between the points. So just west of us was uh, the first point. Just east of us is the second. You have this giant hill. And I'm hoping insurgents are going to be able to uh, actually fob it up a little bit. They get some... Oh, here we go. D62 not realizing how close he is to running into anti-tank. Oh, hello, ATGM smacks into the side, tandem round from the Carl Gustav hits him as well. Oh my goodness, and the law finishes him off. The one, two, three, ATGM tandem and law. What a wonderful play by American Anti-Tank. You'll love to see it. There you go. <laughs> I mean, that was one of the best one, two, threes I think I've seen in a very long time. I will say the turret toss, I could have gone for more turret toss. <laughs> uh, Americans feeling like they are able to push up and as they push across the top of the hill, they actually run right into some AA fire. Seedless tossing his GL. A little short, Nitrous Mafia. It's dude, a few infantry just trying to get eyes on. UB32, a little... Hold on a second. This is a fantastic position if they're able to keep it. Helicopter is taking a hell of a turn. They're trying to set up a fob right behind the objective. And this is actually a nice little uh, kind of valley to set down on. If they can sneak it in... Oh my goodness, and they're going to walk right into a radio. If they're able to touch down, the, what are the chances? And the super squad dismounts, and they cannot believe their luck. There you go, infantry staring right at the radio. No, they missed it. They don't see it. They're running away from it. Couldn't make it easier for them. And the Americans have missed the radio. Enemy radio on my And the helicopter actually sees it on the way out. The helicopter, I think, just uh, called it out. Yes, he did. Uh, infantry on the ground, miss it. Helicopter able to mark it for the team here and now you have one infantry 
Uh, black Elon Musk. Okay. All right. Okay. James P. Fondle oh, Fondleberg again. God damn it. There's a fight. There's it's behind us. They're fighting over radios. They're doing radio stuff. God damn it. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Top of the hill taking AA fire as it's still going to be a long hike for the U.S. to try to get around. <laughs> And they're stuck up on this hill and just below here, we'll turn on the dome. Uh, this, this circle here, that's the cap point. So, uh, you got Swift Seal Max, uh, Fire... F <laughs> Why are you naming yourselves these things? God damn. How... <laughs> Infantry what I'm trying to say is infantry are about to do infantry things radio people in the background doing radio things and we're gonna swap down To the infantry push on the south side once again the south side looks to be the one to actually capture the objective here Huge erection. Oh, come on you guys gotta be no you guys are just come on now. All right. That's that's you guys are actually. <laughs> it's like some conspiracy theory. All y'all got together before the game, changed your names. I might be Psyduck pushing in. Gets absolutely lit up by every single American running out the have. And. Push, 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 but they're gonna push, push, push right on out of Cheat Clapper. Oh, misses his RPG actually. Just uh, Jack Pat running right through the dust of it. Pulls out his AK, goes full auto, but doesn't tag anyone. And re swaps to his frag rounds. Matt V knocks out uh, enemy Lodgy south of us here. That's that boom. And is there a commander? There is a commander. I'm curious as to why there's no command strikes, no UAVs just yet. Um, this is a this hab is actually overrun. So you have cheat clapper that we're staring at. He just tossed his uh, RPG, and then you have Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> Pushing the half with Zevex up on the hill. Uh, and they're actually overrunning this hab. Uh, RPG round into the back, backside of the hab. Uh, they are all within uh, the fob overrun radius. And I don't know. He's just deciding to keep throwing in RPGs uh, into a non alive hab. John Doe takes them out from the far end here. Byronic Arrow. Goes down to RBG. And I don't think they've been able to get it over uh, cleared yet. So this, they actually, uh, Americans might lose this this push fob, and that might be huge because the south side has been super effective this entire time. Uh, insurgents have been focused on the west and the north. As you can see here, there's a, a nice uh, fire team element from the insurgents pushing up to where this Blackhawk is. But now you have a lot of pressure, and the U.S. They're scattered. They're everywhere. You even have squad five and ten. They're pushing out towards Ali Abad, which is the point after this. Not really important right now. And that's going to cause some problems. And RBG looks like dug down the radio 75%. So now even if uh, the insurgents were to leave the area, the fob would still be overrun. You need that radio back up to 100% start spawning in. <laughs> Shadow Ghost taking shots from Dr. Long Dong Dawson <laughs> as the insurgents move to push out and take full control of the south side.
UB32, Rocket Barrage coming in. And this is actually where the insurgents were pushing. Uh, I mean, this is actually, if you're the US right now, I think you need to get on comms and you need to collect yourselves. There is a lot of confusion because multiple squads are doing multiple things in different directions. And squad five, I think just got wiped way off the point and they're gonna lose the Lodgy as well. The government, the last one up in the Lodgy, as you see, Rag Terror uh, 2. Oh my goodness, and they do. Squad 5, I don't know what they were trying to do over here. They got caught in a firefight, managed to win the firefight, and then the rest of the insurgent team spawned in. And you see the Americans are just strewn across the side of the road here, leaving the Lodgy. Now tires are going out. They're going to lose that Lodgy. Most likely a full Lodgy too. This is all the way back here on the map. Yeah, just so you can see, back down. southeast side and that's what a good a thousand meters away from the front line they are not going to get that lodgy back it's not only going to lose them all the supplies but the entire squad is going to cost nine tickets then the lodgy when that eventually does go down is going to cost an additional five americans started this push with 240 tickets to the good they're now down 170 and it looks like Hopefully, this new infantry wave from the northeast. Oh, and something big just went down. A radio went down. The radio from the southwest push. 20 tickets go down. Another 10 tickets go down. Americans very quickly lose almost 40 tickets in 60 seconds. And they're down to 137 with a point still to take. See, good overwatch position. As his uh, squad tries to push up. One of the, the best moments of, of Kohat, actually, is just going bipod up and holding down on that trigger. But he's starting to take... Ooh, hello! Oh, there you go. UB32 dialing in on the Americans. And just a little short, actually. You can actually see him being fired center of your screen. This saw gunner doesn't care. <laughs> Heard the ringtone go off and IED obliterates the American Hab. And want to see if there's any other. Nope. Sapper is not. Well, hold on a second. We have a drone up in the air. Oh, behind us, actually. Let's see if there's IEDs on it. No IDs on the drone. But Americans have lost their spawn point and now you're actually going to need... So we'll turn this on so you can see. The Americans that are here right now have no respawn unless you're squad 8 or 5. They have rallies. The 60 second uh, wave spawn uh, rally is up for just two squads. So only 18 players can spawn here. They need a squad to full or infantry to go back and dig up the hab. So that way the entire team can spawn. They have knocked out one hab. I think there is still another hab. Yeah, so uh, insurgents get two habs. One hab, which you see right now is on stakes. The other hab is actually in the building behind here. You can see also that's where the radio is. That's actually a really, really good call. So the hourglass, red hourglass right there next to Inshallah, that is their radio room. So insurgents are still going to be able to spill out and try to defend the point but you need players to do it. Insurgents, they're not even looking the right way. They just lost their fob and hab on the north side and they're getting wiped because nobody's looking up. Americans take the high ground. Fat men fat. <laughs> fat men fan? Fat, fat met fan. Oh, fat met fan. <laughs> Just like the Mets, not living up to 2023's expectations here. 
as he gets right, absolutely it. rocked pushing into the hab room. Oh shit, I'm hip. rolling in it's still a handful i don't think they are able to overrun oh they were able to overrun just a little bit but now you see now you're about to not to see because command on the insurgent side has just called in a mortar barrage and this entire position will turn off the will we'll turn off the uh, name so you can see a bit clearly but they're trying to do defensive danger close mortar barrage and there it goes, knocks out one, two, three. The remaining infantry, you can see, just trying to get into the compound. And that might have just cut him off. Hab is overrun. So dis despite having artillery called right on top of him, there are just enough Americans here. Uh, let's see. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six up. So six within 60 meters can overrun this hab. So Sasabi, Z dies. Inshallah, these guys, they need to get out and clear this. If they don't, then insurgents aren't going to be able to defend their position. UV-32 rockets also coming in, and that's actually really well dialed in. Cat Eater Senior coming in and trying to push where Fat Met Fan was. And inshallah, oh, they're just holding. They're not doing anything but just holding the ground and just waiting. And then you actually have, who is pro laughter? He literally just built himself a tent. He just built himself a tent and is saying, you know what? I'm just going to stay here. <laughs> there you go. Nice, effective marksman right here. Cat Eater Senior. The medic actually picks up Fat Met Fan. A hundred tickets left, and they are starting to cap the point. You see about 80%, so enough Americans on the objective. They don't even have to push down and knock out this hab. Psychopad coming around the backside. Pro laughter. Might get a little flank here. And Americans have now flanked the rooftop. Four chevrons on the cap, and it looks like it will be an American position. Really good, good timing too, because you're at 99 tickets. So Americans actually losing 140 tickets to this push right now. And insurgents, uh, they're now set up on Aliabad. It looks like for the most part they're just going to give it to them. And as that goes down, I just want to take a look. I thought there were a handful of infantry yep, running in. I don't think a few of those solo infantrymen can really do much. Inshallah, Keenan, the only two left on the objective. Darum is actually crawling inside. Thank you. <laughs> He's using his, he's got his shovel out. He's taking AK fire. They are being shoveled from the outside. There, you got shovels digging down and shovels digging up. keenix has got his shovel trying to dig it back up. Darum is digging it down. And knocks out Leon. This is as close quarters as you can get. Keenan is the last one alive here with inshallah and you just have to <laughs> he's trying to dig it up oh he tosses a grenade oh it was a smoke grenade i thought it was actually a frag grenade goes more jackpot taking shots now bowels of just oh, bowls of justice goes down he's got bodies stacking up keenan inshallah and keenan <laughs> The entire American, another one goes down. Gabe, Gavin goes down. Joe nearly guys as well. Scuzz going on the outside trying to do something. Oh, is that a frag? He throws it out. And a third one goes down. Grenade knocks out Black Elon Musk. 
Garbungo Bargombogus goes <laughs> as well. IED explodes outside as Inchaline still digging up with the shovel. He's trying to, a nade comes in, fat Met fan tries to throw in a frag grenade, not, oh, it, it knocks out Inshallah. Fat Met fan goes down, walks now, is the only one left. Oh, shit. <laughs> tries to toss another grenade and not sure what he's doing. He's going for the revive. <laughs> Inshallah is up and at him. <laughs> He's trying to, they're trying to dig up the hab again. Oh, they have the hab back up. Shakar Khat is American territory, but it doesn't matter. Keenan and Inshallah are trying to do everything they can. Another grenade goes out. Psychopath alive now in the mess of bodies. And just as I see that he goes down. And Toxic Taco trying to just slay 50 cal in. UB32, no way. One UB32 rocket actually landed right on the top. Toxic Taco takes the full brunt of it. Matt V nearly pops. UB32 trying to do everything they can to hold on. Let Keenan and Inshallah stay up. Keenan goes and pokes his head out once more. One more grenade goes out. Oh, and knocks out Avalon and Chinese spy. Rex, Leon, and Scuzzoid, the only ones up again. You do have Cat Eater on the back as well. So now three. Oh no, Keenan finally goes down. Scuzzoid, you can see him. He peeked it right here, right through the bodies. Keenan with an amazing defensive effort. Inshallah now needs to try to repay the favor and get, in, get Keenan up. And he's trying to, oh, it doesn't look like he can get over squad physics. He's trying to climb up on the edges. Maybe try to climb up so he can get on the other side and get Keenan up. Unbelievable. And this is probably... Oh, and they dropped the C4. Oh, I love it. Garbongus drops the C4 to Breach. And Inshallah finally goes down. Keenan is dead. And the Alamo finally falls. Unbelievable. What a defensive effort. Oh, some of the best <laughs> last holes I think I've ever seen in squad. UB32 as well, trying to get back in the action. Unbelievable. What a huge play from both teams. There you go. Okay, well, the excitement over at Shakar Khat has finally died down, and that has ended up with 158 tickets left for the US, 281 tickets for Insurgents. I'm gonna say that again. 157 for the US and 280. The Insurgents start with like 800 tickets. The U.S. have killed 263 insurgents. Absolute devastation on the insurgent side. And if the insurgents are not careful right now, they actually might lose this game on tickets. Insurgents are losing tickets at a faster rate than Americans. And although it is not common, defenders can lose invasion rounds on tickets. I've seen it happen, and we might see it happen right now as Shakar Khat. So after all is said and done, the US has now collected themselves. I think the Bradleys are still alive. I'm seeing one Bradley right back up here. Uh, another Brad, oh, maybe one Bradley went down earlier. Helicopters up, but the entire US team is back kind of right where we were. 
uh, near Shakar Kot. So that's going to actually be very beneficial earlier on command comms. Heard them talking about trying to get a... Uh... Well, hold on a second. I'd do it. Can you do it? I'd, I'd YOLO. You might as well, right? You might as well. Oh. 12-7 is actually opening up as well. Maybe wasn't confident on the range. I would have just sent it. No. No. Oh, wait, no. It's fine. It's fine. But U.S. is now in a, in a good position to actually collect themselves, get a good push. Commander, they were talking earlier that they wanted this push. Ooh, nearly takes out uh, a Lodge. We see American Lodge moving left to right. SPG just a little behind it. Uh, they want artillery to, to help lead the way. So command artillery might just be about a thing here as Blackhawk is now finding himself in a lot of trouble, taking some Dishka fire, trying to bob and weave a little bit. He is smoking. SBG tries to send it. Hey, that's a good effort. <laughs> you, you just got to do it, you know? UB32 as well, trying to fire in the old position. And good fire support. If anything, they're preventing... If I'm seeing uh, UB-32 rockets land here, I don't want my infantry to move through it, obviously. So even if they're not hitting right now, they're forcing the U.S. in maybe a little bit more advantageous position because you have this area right now. You not only have enemy infantry, or I guess insurgent infantry, but you have your tank coming up right here, T-62 climbing up the hill, and then you have all your uh, crew-served weapons here. SBGs, they're getting AA built up, Dishkas really good teamwork right now for the insurgents and strangely enough though american comms are quiet i'd want to be organizing ourselves try to get a plan because squad seven just has he has a couple gunners as a helicopter once again i don't think he's been back to repair yet and he needs to be very careful taking some more 12 7 fire trying to get behind you actually had an American squad just below him. As he flies off into the distance. An American squad just below him here. Zazima? Is that the RuneScape player Z Zezima? Zazima? Oh my god. A RuneScape legend! <laughs> uh, a, a handful of Americans on the north side here. But the biggest push is actually going to be from the west. So... Uh, Americans, you need to be on comms. And I, I I'm just very surprised at this moment in time after all that, that. It's just super quiet. Might even be able to get a good shot if you were on this AA right now. Trying to get that uh, helicopter. Oh, UB32 has actually dialed it in on the Bradley. Right through that smoke is the Bradley's position. And I don't think they have no repair station. They're just kind of UB-32 just kind of scaring the uh, Bradley away, which is still good. A starts to open up on the helicopter and the U.S. is just once again resetting. T-62 looks like he might have eyes on the Bradley. No, he doesn't. He's swapping to frag rounds. And looks like he got Tigla way out in the distance. But Bradley... There it is. Insurgents need to be talking. This T-62 can easily pop up and maybe tag this Bradley. I think both sides are getting... I think we're, what, an hour into this? Almost an hour into the invasion round. A few mistakes happening. As you can see, this this infantry push. I mean, you got two dead squads for the Americans here. Any updates on that tank? Negative. I haven't heard him or seen him. Yeah, at least I don't think we're gonna be marked down. Watch. Enemy marksman on fire. Observe. Oh, good push. Americans 
trying to do a little bit of damage here. So what you don't want, what's good for, if they just rolled this out here, if you're insurgents, this is actually, oh my goodness, is this a war crime? James P. Fondelsberg drags the American underneath the truck. Uh, if, if you're the insurgents, this is a really good play if they manage to pull it off. Um, squad four for the insurgents, they're trying to get a new radio so they can have a different uh, defensive position. So you have your main defensive position on Ali Abad right here in the center of your screen. And then just west on this hill, you have like another fob that you'd have to deal with. So if they're able to get a few dishkas up, SPGs, as I have. Oh, that is IEDs. You got a, a, an IED drone on the way. And they are trying to find and set their sights on the Bradley, which might be able to see right here. But the, the main issue is the drone is flying right above the entire American infantry squads. And if you have good players and both sides do have good players right now, this drone is so easy to be heard. You need to be very careful as they start to dial it in. ID drone trying to focus in on the Bradley here and he goes right above it trying to flank around goes to dive in ID called and there it goes Bradley pops not a chance IED drone makes easy work and nothing left but the tracks. Nothing left but the tracks. Bradley's finally go down and it took an hour and an IED drone for it to happen. If I'm the, the Bradley crew, honestly, that's a, that's a, you've been doing well all game. IED drones are just, hey, you know what? That sucks sometimes. <laughs> What a drone. Got to give it to uh, Insurgent Commander, though. Huge, huge play. And now you have... is that That is a hot drop. That is a hot, hot drop as an RPG slams right into the side of the Blackhawk. Perfect timing for Insurgent Anti-Tank. He's got perfect eyes in the... Oh, my goodness. D-62 dials it in as well. Heat round. Pins right through, and the Blackhawk is just a charred mess into the fields. Swap into a frag round now. And he... Oh my goodness! Straight murder in the fields of Kohat. Americans getting torn to shreds by RPGs and tanks. I don't know. They, they were able to get a radio down. I don't know if they were able to get any type of supply. They were 113, so they were able to get a HAB, but oh my goodness. So they were able to get the HAB. You can see it right here, but there's nobody to shovel it up. Uh, Fat Met Fan is going to be the one that's going to try to go up and dig the, the HAB. Oh, no, he's not. RPG comes in and wipes him. That is a full team wipe for the insurgents. Nailing the helicopter, nailing the squad, and they're about to take out the radio, which is going to be another 20 tickets. Well played. And that is now, you're at 101 tickets, 100 tickets now. So you're going to be down to 80 tickets at the end of one minute here. 80 tickets to 197. And once again, insurgents are losing a lot of tickets, but right now... The Americans are losing a little bit more as Pro Slaughter goes down. And apparently my puberty just showed up. <laughs> Hello! I hate having my fourth puberty in my 30s. Good old voice crack. T-62 rolling down, try to support in the Ali Abad. We're gonna take a look at the map. I know when I open the map, everyone's like, Moy, stop looking at the map! Well, if I didn't look at the map, I wouldn't have seen an artillery strike just show up. So now we know where to go, huh? 
insurgents are buttoned up on their defensive point we're going to turn this on real quick so you can see the dome this is the capture area there's actually a good amount of americans in the capture area uh in the other side of the building so you have eastern side insurgent buildings western side american buildings and what's going to mean the difference is this infantry push right here you can see the hab right in this little nook on the other side of the valley the insurgents need to withstand this artillery barrage ali abad right now is not being captured but it is there just maybe an artillery strike away uh, from the americans start, starting to completely cap it quickly and if they lose this the insurgents this is the next point so radio is the last point the one off to our right is second to last is ub32 actually starts lighting up the hillside and there you go, UB-32, you see American infantry starting to run. They say, hey, you're going to drop artillery, we can drop artillery too. As Americans need to wait up, and there you go, American artillery, command artillery, UB-32 rocket artillery, it's all blowing up on the side of Kohat. Good barrage here. Unfortunately, most of the insurgents, you can see uh, all, as of course, right as I said, all Taylor does go down to the barrage. But 72 tickets to 170. You... Oh, just enough. Ali Abad is now being captured. 71 tickets to 169. Nice. Insurgents, they have lost their hab on the south side, but insurgents, as we know, have two habs. They're spawning in uh, from right here. You see Cray, Sezabi, Igloo, everyone's spawning in. And UB-32 rockets actually knocking out one or two infantry on the objective. Insurgents are now stuck inside their building as Rex, Leon, Garbungus, uh, Sunker... A bunch of infantry trying to push that position, trying to clear it out. Oh, and the artillery just missed the radio right out here. Insurgent radio is alive and well. And Ricky goes down to Archie JMC. Insurgents need to get back on this position because if they can hold him now, they might win. It's very difficult to uh, to go from this current point and defend in radio tower. It usually falls like dominoes. Insurgents starting to fall by the wayside here oh and what the hell was that ub32 i think just popped a some sort of vehicle on the point three chevrons on elliot bet 65 tickets to 154 trying to see if there's anything big coming in and well speaking of something big t62 rolling up on the point right now All quiet. I'm surprised they haven't called out this T-62 just yet. Should do it now as Americans on the side of the hill get obliterated by that frag round. But you need to be careful. And there you go. Ali Abad neutralized. One more minute and the Americans have a hundred more tickets. And then you're there. And then the Americans, if they're able to hold this, Americans will actually have more tickets than the defenders. And uh, uh, an insurgent radio has gone down. 123 tickets now for the insurgents. 61 for the Americans. I actually think this might end on tickets on the last objective. Jo uh, Joe, just uh, on the on the building here, trying to get eyes on the tank. And hold on a second. There you go. Harrison comes up from behind, actually knocks out a rally. Oh, Harrison with the PPSH. 
decides to go back around. Nice little flank of Rooney. Joe trying to clear the buildings, trying to get back to Doc 8 ball. And he gets the PPSH. Yeah, he got me. There you go. What a play with the World War II era SMG. Makes quick work of the Americans on the west side. And unfortunately, though, it might be in vain. There are just too many. <laughs> oh, hell, hold on. Mortar barrage. Insurgents. I think, oh, they did cap it. 144 tickets, a little too late. 144 tickets to 109. As the mortar barrage pushes right onto the point. And hold on, what just happened? I actually think one of the either mortars or a rocket actually took out the helicopter's engine lost control and he actually slammed right into the side of the hill i have no idea the, I, I, I i nothing else makes sense i thought i saw smoke on the top of the rotors and then he just landed way too fast in the side of kohat the only thing that makes sense is is some type of explosive hitting the uh the main rotor and 131 tickets to 99 that is not what you want though you don't want your helicopter to to go down right at the last point because if you notice insurgents this is the uh this is the insurgent hab uh can we mark it here insurgent where is it hab right here yep where reb is so insurgents can spawn on the objective here you have americans spawning in a couple hills away but you don't have any other quick supply right now so the u.s has 2000 build on this objective and both of their lodges on their fob they only have 500 ammo so it's going to be very difficult without a quick uh, resupply helicopter to continue to push the objective the biggest thing stopping insurgents from completely rolling the u.s right now is the fact they're down to 91 tickets mickey from argentina i don't know if he's actually from argentina but his, his name is mickey arge so i'm assuming he's from argentina mickey from argentina knocking out two insurgents on his way up to cap the point all by himself ub32 oh he's getting shot by the bradley just barely here you see bradley had perfect eyes ub32 you don't want to lose that either that's a nice five tickets good rocket barrage knocking out a lot of infantry actually i'm counting one two three four five or so down oh garbungus goes down Chewy just dodging a rocket. Great rocket barrage. Just defensive artillery now. 106 tickets to 75. And this is really going to go down to the last ticket here, huh? Good barrage. Just gets a little too high above. Is it Kuda and Jack? The entire game is dependent on this push right here. 102 tickets to 60. And hold on, Igloo. I'm not quite sure what Igloo is doing. Does he have IDs on that? He does not. Oh, and he just loses. I, whatever element of surprise he thought he had, not even close, as he just rides his dirt bike straight into a fire team. 102 tickets to 57. Both sides now are just being very, very anxious when it comes to their attacks. Wait, hold on. Is it Mickey from Argentina? Is he on the point? Oh, sorry. Curse of the commentator. Mickey from Argentina finally goes down. Phil a second. Knocks him out as he crests the top of the radio tower hill. And we have the... 
this is how Americans keep succeeding in war. We have floating Matt V's. <laughs> Who needs to worry about uh, roads, dirt paths, hills, whenever you could just fly your Matt V to wherever you need to go? <laughs> ID pops way out west. Oh, and it wasn't a it wasn't a ID. I think it might have been a mine. It sounded like an ID. Oh, hold on a second. Anti tank grenades. Oh, he actually nails it. He goes down with the ship. Tosses the anti tank grenade just as he gets lit up by the M16 or I guess uh, M4 rather. Since we're with uh, US Army. I mean, there you go. If you're going to go down, you want to go down like that. Great kill. So 94 tickets after scratching one Matt V for the insurgents. 94 tickets to 42. And you can tell the, the pacing of everything has just slowed down. Insurgents are at 35 tickets. Incredibly hard to hold on at this point. And Americans know that they have to attack an objective with under 100 tickets, which is very difficult. And oh my goodness, the BMX ends up being a, just a killing field as Moosey Foot, Mousey Foot. Ooh, tossing GLs. Hold that, hold the nine sideways. <laughs> <laughs> it's obliterated by a nice grenade. There you go. I think this might be it here. Insurgents are going to lose on tickets. They have lost 10 tickets within the last 30 seconds. As Joe is crawling up to the point, Kuda is up at the point. Tigla as ZD rolling up with, I don't, maybe he's got IEDs on that. Not sure what he wanted to do with this, but... He's going to go down and maybe also the Lodgy. 20 tickets left. 17 now as he's just going off for a drive. <laughs> Unbelievable. A handful of Americans are now pushing on to the actual objective. And there you go, 87 tickets to 12, 11 tickets. Valiant effort from the, the insurgents and Americans just barely holding on. Uh, insurgents must have lost way too many tickets. Uh, probably that second, oh, UB-32? Not even sure what that was. Durham and Scudzoid, it's like they just played hot potato with their own grenade or something. Oh, T-62 actually. Taking shots at Joe. Insurgents trying to run back up. I mean, if you're insurgents right now, you'd have to think that the Americans are also low on tickets. If you're down to three, but they're, they are low, just not that low. 85 tickets to two. One ticket left and there you go. The US as attackers win on tickets. 84 tickets to zero. <laughs> 466 kills for the US, 167 revives against 249 kills and only 49 revives for the insurgents. G freaking G's. G G's.